Hi friends. So today we're going to be working on telling time to the half hour. Last week we worked on saying o'clock, which was on the hour. Now it's going to say oh, uh, 30, okay? So half an hour, all right? So we're gonna first watch a video um, and learn a little bit about it and then I'm gonna do some practice ones and then I'm gonna show you guys what your homework looks like tonight. Hey, Joey, guess what we're going to do today? Math! Yes, but what kind of math? Do you want a hint? Yes, please. Okay, this has two hands, mm -hmm. one face, mm -hmm. and flies by. Oh, I know! What? It's me with a jetpack! <laughs> well, I guess that's right, but this one goes tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know, it's a clock! Exactly right. We're going to figure out how to tell time. Oh, I need to know how to tell time for sure. All right, let's take a look at the question. Great. Okay, so Tim plays soccer at half past 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. He eats lunch at half past 12 o'clock. And he sees a movie at half past 1 o'clock. Oh, well, that's a busy day. It's a very busy day. Now, our job is to look at this clock, which just has the hour hand on it, Huh. and see if we can write down what Tim is doing. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what time is it. Yeah. Okay. So now here's an important clue. If we only see the hour hand, mm -hmm. then notice that all these things are half past, half past, half past. Right. Half past means that the hour hand is going to point halfway between two numbers. Okay. And you see how the hour hand here is pointing halfway between the two numbers 12 and 1? And 1. Yes, I do. That's right. So what this means is that it's not 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. but it's 12 o'clock and a half. That's why it's called half past. Oh, And so it's halfway. Exactly. And so, in fact, this, since we see the 12 here, that means that we see this is half past 12. Because oh. it's past 12 by half. So which of the activities do we see? Do we see where he's doing it at half past 12? Let's see. He plays soccer half past Not 8. Not that one. He eats lunch at half past 12. <gasps> he's having his lunch. That's right, because he sees the movie at half past 1. That's right. And that would be past 1. This is before 1. Right. So just looking at this, we see that this is half past 12. And so the answer is Tim is eating lunch right now. And we did that by looking at a clock with just the hour hand and mm. realizing that if the hand is halfway between two numbers, it's half past. <laughs> that made me hungry, too. <laughs> me, too, actually. <laughs> oh, it was great. Thank now you. I know how to tell time. Excellent. Hey, you know what else I love about clocks what? besides math puzzles? What? I like jokes. So, Professor Berger. Uh-oh. Why did the girl sit on her watch? I don't know. Because she wanted to be on time. <laughs> oh, hey, what time is it if a rhinoceros sits on your watch? I don't know. Time to get a new watch. <laughs> Boom. Right. Oh, what candy's always late? Chocolate. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, oh, that and last one. Alrighty, boys and girls. So in the video, we learned that our our hand is no longer going to be exactly on the number. And also, as you can see in this picture here, our minute hand is now pointing to the six. In a clock, boys and girls, we count by fives. If we start on the 12, we start counting by fives. So if I go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's why we say 30 or half past, okay? So that... As you can see here, this hour hand here is now in the middle between the 9 and the 10. So we're always going to look that it is past the 9, but it's not quite to the 10 yet. So we're still going to say 9, and we look at the 6, and we said that it was 30. So it's 9.30. And the way we would write this is we would go 9, and then our semicolons, and then the number 30. So 9.30, okay? So again, we're looking at our hand it is in between two numbers but we don't quite say 10 yet 
We're still at the nine. It's not all the way there yet, okay? So let's go ahead and practice some. So here, I'm in, I'm on your worksheet as well, you're not going to see that 30 there, okay? And that's okay. You don't need it. All you need is this little hour hand that's in between. So it's half past. So we see that it's in between the two and the three, okay? So that means it's not quite at the three yet, but it's past it. So we're going to say that it is two, okay? And what I want you to do, though, is I want you to draw on your homework, I want you to draw that minute hand pointing to the six. So right here, we're going to draw the hand, and it's 30, okay? So 2, 30, okay? Because remember, this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and the 6 would be our 30, okay? All right, so it's 2.30. Remember, it's not 3 yet. It's half past it, but it's not all the way there yet. All right, so here we have it's in between the 10 and the 9 again. So we're going to draw our minute hand pointing at the 6. We know that's 30. So remember, it's not 10 yet, but it is 9 semicolon 30, okay? And one more practice here. It is in between the four and the five, and let's draw that minute hand pointing at the six. We know that's 30. So again, it's not five yet, but it is four, 30, okay? All right, so your homework. This is what your homework will look like. I will show you in a sec. Alrighty, so here is our homework for tonight. So it is 9.7, the page number is uh, P171. So here what you're going to be doing is, again, the hour, the hour hand is in between two numbers. Remember, we don't write the number that's coming after it. We always write the number that's coming before it. So remember, it's half past. That means we're on the 30. So we need to draw that minute hand drawing right to the 6, okay? And we know that it's going to be 10. So it's going to be 10, 30, okay? Here, you're gonna draw again, draw that minute hand going straight to the six, and we're seeing that it's between the three and the four. We're not gonna draw write the four yet because it's not quite there. We're gonna do three. So it's gonna be three, 30. Okay, boys and girls, so that is what you're doing for homework tonight. Please do the front and the back, and please take a picture on and upload it to Seesaw. I'll see you next time.